just under 30 miles southwest of Tampa and around a half hour drive from downtown St. Petersburg, you'll find one of America's best beach towns. With a shoreline that's about two and a half miles long, Madeira Beach continues to pile up accolades. Locals lovingly refer to it as Mad Beach, with it cracking TripAdvisor's top 10 beaches in the nation just a couple of years ago. This popular beach town was born out of an old fishing village. During the late 1940s and into the 50s is when the community started to develop in earnest. Retirees built single family homes and mom and pop motels sprung up, attracting sun seekers. Over the years, condos have replaced many of the smaller lodging options, while snowbirds continue to make this their winter home. Today, this pristine beach on the Gulf Coast draws visitors from all over. Step foot onto the sand, and it's easy to see why. On today's episode, we're showing you the best things to do in Madeira Beach. From one of the area's most popular tourist spots to a candy store that's been in business since 1950, and a location where you can close out a busy day after exploring this captivating little beach town. All of that and so much more straight ahead from Florida's Sun Coast. Most would agree Madeira Beach is the cleanest public beach in the area. It's a quiet alternative to the more populated beaches of Clearwater to the north and St. Pete to the south. Here you'll find beautiful soft white sand and turquoise waters perfect for swimming, jet skiing, parasailing, and other water sports. The town uses pay stations and phone apps to collect parking fees of $3 an hour. There are a number of government-owned and managed parking lots providing easy access to the beach. Weekly and monthly parking passes for city-owned lots are also available to visitors. We have a rundown of that information, including beach access points, on our website, chadgallivanter.com. The story of John's Pass goes back to September of 1848. That's when a powerful hurricane came through, carving out the pass during one of the strongest storms to ever strike the area. The John in John's Pass comes from a pirate who was the first to navigate his ship through these waters. Billed as Pinellas County's number one tourist attraction is John's Pass Village and Boardwalk. Dozens of merchants occupy these buildings. Here you'll find a variety of souvenir shops, places to grab a drink or a bite to eat, and a number of kitschy photo ops. You'll also find a number of popular national chain restaurants along the boardwalk, including Bubba Gump's and Hooters. Caddy's is a favorite with many locals with several waterfront locations in the area, including this one at the pass. A number of parking lots in the village, as well as this six level parking garage with more than 300 spaces at 179 Boardwalk Place. The garage is open 24 hours a day. The non-denominational church you see behind me was constructed in the 1940s, just steps from the beach. 
Visitors flock here to see the unusual architecture of the building. When you cast your gaze at the Spanish-style tower, you'll notice two circular windows on either side. The roof lines combine with the two windows to make this part of the church look like the face of a giant chicken. It's one of the most photographed landmarks in town. One thing to know about this beach town, especially John's Pass, you can't go five minutes without running into an ice cream shop. In fact, you could go to a different one every day of the week and still not get them all in during your stay. The Sandbar is a colorful, welcoming spot that specializes in ice cream, beer floats, and Italian ice with a little infusion of booze. I loved the friendly service and frozen treats at Mr. P's on the boardwalk. I had the Aloha Bowl, a scoop of coconut ice cream with three flavors of shaved ice topped off with condensed milk. Perfect tropical treat for a beautiful tropical setting. It doesn't get sweeter than the Candy Kitchen, a beachside institution in operation since 1950. Stepping into this family-owned business a mile north of John's Pass is like stepping into a time capsule of sweet childhood memories. Customers over the decades have left their mark by signing the walls and ceiling, while I was amazed by the Pez collection, which I was told has grown to well over a thousand dispensers. John's Pass is a prime location where you can embark for a day on the water. Along the boardwalk are a number of places to rent a boat, a jet ski or wave runner, or book a fishing charter. You can also go on a tiki tour, a dolphin watching cruise along the intracoastal waters, or have an adventure aboard a pirate ship or shark boat. There's also parasailing and helicopter tours. From the boardwalk at John's Pass, you can go under the bridge and be looking at the gulf within minutes. The rocky southern point is a spot that attracts a lot of fishermen and folks who like to watch the boats come and go. Head to the end of the concrete walkway at John's Pass Park near the end of the day. From here, you can watch the sun set over the turquoise waters while capturing memories to remember your time here in Mad Beach. That's it, the best things to do in Madeira Beach. What's on your list? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. Stay updated with our latest content by subscribing to the channel. It's free and activate the notification bell so you know when new tips and guides are released. More information about the content on this channel, including helpful maps and links available at our website. As always, thank you for watching. From John's Pass, See you next time.